Hello there, Capricorn, and welcome. Let's first find out how heaven is helping you, and then we'll get into your time-sensitive oracle messages. But first, let's find out how heaven is helping you, Capricorn, because I feel like you're working through a lot of energies. I think that's what's been going on lately. Anyhow, oh, I see a car that flipped over or something's going off. Sorry, something is going on. I just said something is going off. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. This card was flipped over. We do have abundance here. So you have a natural superpower here, uh, Capricorn. So yes, heaven is helping you really stay strong emotionally, staying sensitive to yourself and others, but yet strong and mighty because you do have the ability to self-regulate your emotions. So take care of yourself. It's really important. Um, actually to uh, really feel and sense some type of inner guidance when it comes to healing, uh, doing things that put you in a state of healing or just makes you feel good because we do have abundance here. So we have a new beginning or something tangible for you to get your hands on. I love this. All right. So hmm, let's continue and see what your Oracle messages are and what spirit wants you to know. For Capricorn. And this is Capricorn, this is going to be for August 23rd to September 6th. What does Capricorn need to know about this time period? Oh, face your fears. No problem. I feel that that's exactly what you're doing because heaven is helping you self regulate, being calm about your fears right? Letting go of something about the past here. <clears throat> so we have a nice release. I'm just noticing the rainbow colors here where the bull is. And then you've got the rainbow color here as well. So there's a real cleansing and maybe even acceleration or s something happening here with your, all of your chakras. Okay. And really that's just your energy point, um, your energy center, your energetic energy centers. And you know, that has a lot to do with how you're moving in life, how you're feeling, your own sensitivities. So spirit is saying something is being cleansed or wiped away because I see this bull as a very mighty and fearless energy. Okay. So you might be even taking on maybe some of those, that bull strength, being fearless, letting go of what needs to be let go of because you are in a powerful cleansing process. All right, don't don't hold back on something here. Let's see what else. Oh, this card was sticking. Oh, I was just getting a message like look the other way. It's really interesting. Like look the other way and someone is focused on their work, their projects, their studies maybe crafting something, just something that they enjoy doing. Um, but there is something about repetitive and, you know, staying consistent here. We have earth sign energy coming through. Mm. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have strength card. <laughs> you know, I just feel that that's, you know, this whole thing about facing your fears, that self-regulation, using your internal resources wisely. And there is a strong sense of mastery here. Both of these cards are indication of mastery. Okay. So you're doing something here, um, powerful when it comes to breaking away from things or people that could maybe even aggravate the inner beast within you. We all have the inner beast within us and you're at this place where you've, um, mastered or in the process of mastering great, um, control, with your inner world and with your outer world and how you're reacting, because you're going to be using that mighty force for a better time. And possibly you're using it and crafting things here, making things, doing something, whatever it is. Some of you, you know, you could be more fo uh, focused more on work than relationships or other things, maybe projects, studies, you know, what I was talking about. Ah, <laughs> uh, Okay. I love what's happening here too. There may be someone that may need to get a um, breath of fresh air. So, you know, with this eight of pentacles, we're working, 
or we're focused. So make sure you're taking, you know, adequate uh, breaks when needed. What else? Oh, we got disappointment here. Hmm. You got, yeah, self-regulation, paying attention to your mood here. You know, this could make us really moody or not feel anything at all. So four of cups is speaking about not missing an opportunity here, facing your fears with a new opportunity, perhaps let's get more with this four of cups. We have abundance hmm. and notice the infinity symbol above the, uh, angelic lady. I call her the angelic lady's head here being infinite and infinitely supplied. Okay, what's important for Capricorn to know about this Four of Cups? I mean, this this is really cloudy here, too. This is not even, yeah, it's real cloudy here. Hmm. You know what this this is about? <laughs> this is about not allowing your um, emotions or imagination to cloud your judgment at this at during this time period. So just, you know, pay attention to that because that could be tempting here, right? Because we're holding back from doing that. Let's get a little bit more with that Four of Cups for Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. <laughs> uh, okay, locked doors can now be open. Okay, somebody may open up your heart here. We may have been disappointed when it came to matters of the heart or something just important when it comes to a fulfillment here. But, you know, you felt like maybe rejected or denied for, for some type of fulfillment, either from spirit or another, whatever. But locked doors can now be open because look at this. Your luck will soon change. And we have passion and romance await. So we have so, some type of um, like passionate energy that is awaiting for you. Ooh, see, you may, you may have felt like you were stuck in some type of energy here, but you do need to pay attention to your mood. See, your superpower and how heaven is helping you is self-regulating your emotions, helping you process feelings in a healthy way, right? In a way that you can respond to in a, in a powerful way because you have the ability to do so. All right. I don't know why I just feel like I need to put those over there and I'm getting a nice good stretch. So maybe there's something about you also stretching, taking care of your body. Remember I was taking, saying take uh, those adequate breaks, maybe something with exercise or whatever. Take what resonates for you and what you like, but let's continue. That's not the, that's not the whole focus here. Yeah, you're releasing. So take a breath. Some of you, you may need to celebrate. <laughs> I see someone celebrating what they release. You know, they, they're just celebrating no longer having to be burdened by something that may not have been working or just was a drag, right? This seems like a drag right here. So we are in this process of releasing. Make sure you are, you know, breathing deeply here. Take a moment and really see what you do have around you, okay? Because there may be there may be other fulfillments around you that may even be feeling ignored. Okay. So don't forget, you got like three cups right there. Excuse me, three cups right there. So there may be something about the three of cups, a sign of rejoicing, connecting, feeling good, socializing in a healthy way. Uh, I like this. We're feeling blocked, but yet hmm, soon our luck will change. Yeah, we got something incoming here. Now, don't be afraid to take action. I just see you facing your fears and taking action. So what is what is Capricorn taking action on? Change. <laughs> and balancing yourself, balancing your emotion here, okay, and adapting to changes, trying to have fun as much as possible because things may be get a little, may be a little wibbly and wobbly here, but take action when it comes to changing, you know, releasing things, feeling good, knowing your luck will change. 
What else? This one is coming out here. Two of Swords. Hmm, we got that clean. It landed on that cleansing card. And we we're just talking about taking action. Okay, now the Two of Pentacles can speak about priorities as well, right? We're choosing what's a priority from this moment on. Let's get a little bit more, too, about the Two of Swords here. We could be indecisive about something or, I mean, locked doors can now be open. And we're feeling blocked here. Let's get more with the Two of Swords. What's important for Capricorn to know about this Two of Swords? Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're cutting something out or we're being really decisive on where we're going here. <clears throat> it's like, take, take action, take the lead. This is what it is. You're taking the lead. You're not waiting for something or someone because there may be this thing where that's what's been going on here. We're just like waiting for something. But right now it's like, just take action and anywhere that you can take action. The queen of swords is doing anything she can to face her fears, cleansing, you know, doing what we can to keep our mind clear, right? Because I was getting this message that, you know, imagination could cloud judgment. So we are staying focused here. You And again, we may not be, we may be more focused on, you know, life skills, training, learning, uh, work, career, business, rather than relationships. But I mean, I keep getting something about the three of cups. So maybe, maybe if you find yourself not, um, engaging with others, well, maybe make some room. Okay. Especially if you feel like you've been just doing the same old, same old, what else? Hmm. Your luck is, oh my God. Wow. Wow. Your luck is going to change. <laughs> Look at this period of bad luck that we've, we've been feeling. We may, we may have been um, feeling really tight too when it comes to resources, right? Your money, people, support. But it's all changing. This is the wheel of fortune. It's turning around. So this is the time where I, 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 I feel that time is of an essence here, right? Look up. Look to the heavens here. Change is on the way. Uh, we have more earth sign energy coming through. Wow. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. You're, you may even meet someone that could really change or direct your life in, a, uh, in the most beneficial and, uh, and abundant way. So pay attention to someone, especially if, you know, it's something that you um, inspired to have or be like, okay. There's good advice with, with this queen of pentacles, but here you are too. I mean, come on Capricorn. This is you. This is the queen of manifestation. This is the queen of abundance. So she's more than ready for whatever is next, but she's also basking in her accomplishments because she's done something right here. I'm seeing someone who, who has, done something with boundaries as well, knowing when to take, take time out to take care of oneself, knowing if something is a little lopsided, soon your luck will change. What else? And we do have a female here, so there may be a, a dominant woman that you could be dealing with for during this time period. Some of you, that could be you, but if it's not a dominant woman, then it would be um, most likely somebody who has like feminine traits, a masculine that has feminine traits. But just take that if it resonates. It's not really that important. I'm just putting it out there. Change your tune. Yeah, we may be we may be hardened by something with that Queen of Swords here. So you need to focus. I feel there's a strong thing about focusing on the best action or just focus on, you know, Whatever you, you know, focus on what you have right now that you can take action towards the positive, all right? Because there may be this, you know, you're fighting energetically that four of cups. Now, some of you Capricorns, you may have denied someone here, you know, 
And I feel that you are, you know, just kind of leaving that behind, right? To make room for something new. But just take that if it resonates. It won't for all of you. But you are changing your tune, changing your vibration. We got big, happy changes with that Wheel of Fortune. Now, you were in a period where you may have felt, um, really, it just wasn't feeling too good with this Five of Pentacles here. But there is support. You're not alone. Okay, so you do have support. What else? An angel is by your side, I was hearing. And look, Nine of Cups. So we are basking in... Um, gratitude because we are noticing or remembering our achievements and how far we've come. And I feel that spirit is giving you, um, memories about things that have come true in your life and that you should be proud. And this is also a wish fulfillment. Soon your luck will change. Locked doors can now be open. Be proud of yourself. What else? Oh my God, this is just really tied in with this nine of cups. Enchanted, <laughs> a period to feel enchanted, right? Giving into the mystical or the mystery perhaps, because I know there's something where you're having to face your fears, right? Look at this. It says cold moon and we even have, you know, some cold days here. But look here, the sun is shining nice and warm comforted by the good things in life what else you do need to free yourself okay what does capricorn need to free themselves <clears throat> I see two energies here too, right? So we could be overly doing it, overly focused, or we're not noticing something at all because we're, we might just be really in, in that mood. Let's get a little bit more for yourself. And this is what the Queen of Swords is doing. You got to follow your intuition. Uh, and oh boy. Okay. This is good. This is good. Choose your words carefully because your words do shape and mold your reality. Now there may be something too, where the queen of swords can be really sharp with her tongue. So we may need to resist right now from, you know, saying something that we may not, you know, we may want to take back later, but you know, only take that if it resonates here. I mean, I just feel that there's something about not being negative to yourself here, you know, because there may be a lot of chatter in the mind that's going on or something. You may be listening to someone, right? But you've got to listen to your own, or excuse me, yeah, listen to and follow your own intuition. We have the seer here. Okay, what else? Yeah, we got, we got the seven of um, wands here. So we are freeing ourselves from uh, others' opinions, maybe others' voices. Now, also take this if it resonates, because I can see a lot of you are in this Queen of Pentacles um, position. We just might be feeling a little unsupported or alone, perhaps, right? Something's going on about, in, in general, basically, what I'm trying to say is something's happening here where you've got some type of distinct thing about you distinct achievements. I mean, I, it's coming through strong, even with the nine of cups here. Someone has all of their cups, right? Like show and tell kind of thing. Queen of cups, or excuse me, not the queen of cups. Queen of pentacles is basking in, you know, abundance and beauty. She just knows how to make, she's very earthy, obviously makes things beautiful. So there may be something here where you need to block out, you know, others, opinions or, um, energies at this time, because you are going through this, uh, powerful process of cleansing. Um, but the other thing is, is, you know, this could even be wasted energy because I feel that you're above and beyond this. Um, you have a distinct thing about you that spirit is saying you deserve this position. So, Hmm, let's get more about this seven of wands. We have Aries Leo Sagittarius coming through here. 
And that two of swords, you know, we, we could be blocking out things so that we can hear our intuition so that we can get the clarity and decision we need. Let's get more about the seven of wands. You're closing a chapter here. Now, if something isn't working, if you feel something is just a complete block, then turn away from it because, you know, you're, you really are stepping into a new experience. See, I told you, you've hit some type of level of achievement or attainment. Maybe it's just on a personal level, but whatever it is, you know, you are shielded and protected. Don't forget that you have a powerful, uh, guardian angel. I should say guardian angels surrounding you and your situation so that you have some type of closure, or at least you see something coming to completion where you can feel really good. Hmm. Notice how like the, there's a circle here and that we've got this cage, this like circle here. And so instead of being in it or of it, you are, you know, going through it. <laughs> So there, there may be a, the literal like solution to anything right now in front of your eyes. If you just maybe just open up, believe what's possible, continue to process your feelings, but give it a dash of knowing that you are loved by the heavens and you, and your luck is changing. I mean, look at that, the will of fortune. Oh my gosh. Okay. What else? Queen of Pentacles to me is like this enchant enchanted um, person here too. And we're like in a place where we feel enchanted by. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yes, we are releasing, feeling free, giving to a fresh uh, opportunity, a fresh new you, a fresh new idea. We're just feeling good and simple, right? Taking what we need. There may be something here too, where you've got to open yourself up and take a risk. Okay. Because I feel that we, you know, we've got this thing about changes, sudden events could be picking up here and this can bring about fears too, because you know, we could be having, you know, multiple events happening one after another, but I feel that you are resisting from uh, reacting to it. You're just kind of sailing through the changes but it is giving you something fresh here. What else? Oh my gosh. Beautiful. I, I, I see feeling good, feeling happy. There may be something about a, a birth of a child or, you know, good news about a child here, but just take that if that resonates. Um, cause I do see something about being fertile here, but anyhow, we do have the sun, this brings, um, you know, a blessing to your hard work. You know, your perseverance is rewarded. We're feeling healthy too. So if you've been doing things to take care of your health, you can see that, um, improve as well. What else? You will receive news from afar. And we've got the caduceus here, and this is the healer. So a lot of you, you have this ability to heal yourself a situation, but you may be tempted, you know, to use that energy for other things that don't really need, you know, that. And, and I'm talking about maybe this, because I just feel we, we've, we already know where we stand, <laughs> but sometimes we can't help it, right? But just know that you're being protected through some some type of transition and receiving some type of good news. What else? Oh, look at that. You may hear from um, others that want, may want to lear learn from you or help you advance in your own studies career or establish something uh, materially. But we are creating something strong when it comes to advancement. All right. So I feel that you're going to hear news too when it comes to, you know, um, something that you've been doing here, <laughs> your work, um, 
I don't know, being acknowledged for something here. And the sun is also exposing, you know, the right people to collaborate with, to work with. There may be something about hiring a team or, or working with a team here. So take that if it resonates. The only thing that I would say that the Three of Pentacles could challenge you on is um, not seeing results as fast as you want. Oh, see, here's Three of Cups. Told you, there's the Three of Cups. We're celebrating. You know, so something is coming together. We're establishing some type of strong foundation. A lot of you, too, are in a place of just doing what you want to do or, or finding something that you love to do. And here we are. We're engaging, celebrating, feeling abundant because we have some type of harvest here. Now, there may be something significant with the fall as well, okay? So we could be celebrating during the fall time here and having a lot of fun. What else? Because I am getting this mes message that you've safely established something really important here. And it's security, some type of security here. Let's get more to about the uh, four of pentacles. We could be um, we could be reserving and holding back for the right situation, the right one. We could be investing, saving, but we also don't want to block something either by hanging on too tightly. So let's get more about this four of pentacles. What's important for Capricorn to know when it comes to this time period with this four of pentacles? Because I feel that you need to open up here. That's the thing. Look at the four of cups. We're not open up there. Two of swords. We're not open up here. We're not open up here. But it's like we're open here. Hmm. Let's get more about this four of pentacles. Yeah, I feel that we're facing fears here. And we are in this place of conserve, conserving energy wisely. So you are doing something to conserve your energy, your time, your resources wisely. You may be distancing yourself um, from a situation so you can get a better perspective about something or someone. But also, you know, I feel that you are also embodying this king of wands where you may question your own ability to take the lead in something or to have, you know, um, that vision or that goal come to fruition. But it is you're receiving messages and divine guidance about it. But the king of wands is also doing something to um, control any, you know, type of fear, right? Right. Because if the, if the king of wands is feeling too fearful, then we're not powerfully moving towards some type of uh, accomplishment, achievement, goal, maybe someone too. What else? Someone is worth waiting for too. I'm getting this message about the, this whole thing right here. You'll know exactly who and what. I mean, you're receiving and fine tuning your own energy right now because this is like your rebirth here. And you come out the other side grand, prosperous, or at least feeling confident. And you are also can be attracting that because we have that passion and romance awaits. And now we've got the 10 of cups. So we're feeling great contentment here. Be proud of who and what you are. You know, enjoy the things that you do have. Sometimes that four of cups can really get us away from enjoying our, our good, the goodness that we do have. But ten of cups is feeling satisfied. You know, I was just talking about, well, no, never mind. I had to start your reading over, but there was something about the nine of cups that was coming out anyways. But here we go. The next thing is your ten of cups. <laughs> because we're feeling more than enough here and we have a lot. Someone may even have a lot to give to you as well. Cause I'm just getting a very mature, strong, uh, energy here. What else? Okay. We're planning for the future. We're pa planning, um, 
with finances as well, because most more than likely uh, financial gains are coming here, okay? Because you got the Wheel of Fortune, you're showing up as a uh, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Sun card. So, you know, we are moving beyond our comfort zone. But look to the future. You've got something very positive going on here, okay? Your dream and your vision will come true, or there's there's something about you opening up to it, you know, take that if it resonates with someone here that can help. You know, this is that three of pentacles, that three of cups help bring your dream or your vision to life here. Because I feel that spirit is also saying that you don't you're you you do not have to do something alone here. What else? getting to know each other. Okay, so you are communicating <laughs> as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so be honest with yourself, be honest with others. This could be a friend, this could be family member, this could be a love interest. Put this in your situation or someone that you're about to meet. I feel that you're going to feel safe to reveal your uh, innermost selves to each other, right? So again, bringing dreams and visions to life here because we're getting to know one another. And here it is. <laughs> okay, what else? Now, some of you Capricorns, there may be some, an energy of being possessive here. It's either that's like you're feeling that with someone, or maybe we're a little bit possessive over someone or things. So, you know, spirit is saying, just loosen up your grip here. There's, there's some type of, you know, situation where, you know, you may feel like things are progressing slow, but there's, you know, there's more going on than meets the eye. we got the Knight of Swords. Okay, we may need to be careful. Choose your words carefully because the Knight of Swords can also be a very charging energy here. But we may need to think quickly. we got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you are taking action. So don't avoid, some, you know, if you can take action on something, do it. Okay, this is only going to help you. And have the courage. I feel a lot, excuse me, have the courage to speak, you know, your mind. Um, again, I feel that, you know, <laughs> don't let anger or frustration speak. And I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but sometimes the Knight of swords is whew, uh, quick here to cut something, but you are cutting out losses here, or you're cutting out something that's not working and you're only helping and accelerating when it comes to, uh, moving towards, uh, you know, something that feels more, uh, aligned and in integrity with your values, your goals, your dreams. So don't be afraid to take those actions here. Also, the Knight of Swords may um, have gathered a lot of information, facts, and using that as your compass, okay, to help you with decisions or get clarity here. What else? But you may need to choose logic over emotion too, especially when it comes to um, sudden events, because that's what that's what's happening here. Sudden events. I mean, we've got the wheel of fortune. Protection. Oh, I told you, you're protected here. You've got a lot of spiritual protection. Know this. And also protect your own energy, right? The the Knight of Swords, look at him. He's in this, him or her, in this armor here. We're taking care of our own energy. We're protecting our own energy. And this is what I was getting about, you know, this uh, circle here too. I always usually say that, but I didn't this time. But there's like this layer of protection surrounding you. What else? Ah, that one did not want to come out. That one, I had to force that one to come out. I can see why. It's the Eight of Swords. Oh, there's a way here. There's a way. Eight of Swords, we're not doing anything because we're so, we're so blocked, you know? Hmm. Let's get more with that Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yep, 
You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing someone who's been standing maybe in the same position. They're almost like lined up like a sword. Like they've almost become a sword because they've just been in that one position almost, you know? So don't get all hardened up or feel that you have to stay in one position, okay? Because that's not for you. Embrace uncertainty. Oh my gosh. It's all about, you know, getting out of your head. Um, because we are, we especially, you know, we want to know things, right? We want to know when it comes to our own security. But spirit is saying, embrace uncertainty. You are being guided. You're being protected here. You'll, you'll know the way. You'll find the way. Whatever it is, solutions will come. But you don't want to stay trapped in this. There's nothing here. What else? Okay, you are seeing synchronicity. This is a big sign that you are positively moving in a good direction. Um, things are appearing in your life. Pay attention to little instincts, nudges, things that are showing up. And notice them to increase its flow. But yes, you are lined up for synchronicity. It makes so much sense with this Wheel of Fortune. Oh, it's changing. What else? Because you're changing your tune. Nine of wands. Your perseverance is going to pay off. Don't give up. Okay. Don't let something throw you off guard here because you're waiting. You're watching. Okay. There's an energy that there's another card that wants to come out with that synchronicity. And also we're protecting our energy, protecting what's rightfully yours. What wants to come out with the synchronicity? Oh, transformation and shadow work. I felt like this card wanted to come out. See, you're, you're being given signs because you work through the shadow work, this whole thing about transformation because you've got that gift and you've got that ability. Trust, trust what's going on here between you and your higher self and the spiritual realm. What else? Knight of Cups. Also, some of you uh, Capricorns, not all of you, but some, you know, you may find attachment to material things that, you, you know, could hinder some progress here. And it doesn't mean like, you know, you can't have those things, but maybe just kind of take your focus off of it and get into your heart, get into just what feels good without worrying about the other, you know, the money or the material part of things, because you are gliding through managing yourself, um, wisely. Okay. So you're managing your emotions, your mind, self-regulating and falling in love with a path, with a person, falling in love with your dreams knowing something is coming to fruition when it comes to your dreams and also really gliding through some type of creative process, especially if you've been feeling blocked in the creative process or creatively. What else? News from afar. Someone is offering something here as well. The past. <laughs> yeah. You've got your back on the past here. I mean, it's just, you know, more about the closure of the past. The chapter has ended this chapter of disappointment. What else? Yeah. Ace of wands. So here's your new, uh, life that's forming. We have passion. We could, I mean, look at that passion and romance awaits <laughs> knowing which way to go because you are seeing it right in front of you. Pay attention to directions and guidance. Some of you, you might be calling forth a spiritual guide or mentor physically or non-physically. So pay attention to what they're gifting to you and telling you. But you do have something that could be very prosperous too with this Ace of Wands. There may be a very strong like sexual energy going on too because we have the Ace of Wands and you know other things that I see going on. But anyhow, let's see what else. 
Queen of Cups. I was, <laughs> I was picking up Queen of Cups earlier, but uh, yeah, when I said Queen of Cups and I meant to say Queen of Pentacles, I kind of knew it anyways. You know, we're following our intuition. We're um, allowing ourselves to heal and be healed. We're powerfully enhancing our own abilities when it comes to trusting yourself, opening yourself up, right? Taking better care of yourself too. But we are drawing in some type of love and romance. Some type of power is being bestowed on you. So take really good care of yourself. She's also getting, she's also he or she, which is you, you're getting a dream or wish fulfillment when it comes to, you know, some type of family or love, love thing going on here. Okay. What else? Empress. See more about fertility. You've done a really good job. Actually, uh, you know, I, I do see a lot of you, um, in a place of great achievement already, it's only going to get better. So this might be a time where you are reinventing yourself or getting a little bit organized to stay focused on those projects or ideas that can really bring about abundance too. But, you know, we are, we are taking in and breathing in some type of abundance, some type of nurturing energy where we feel safe to be creative, to grow. What else? magician we're focused and we've got a brand new start okay so you don't have to look anywhere else there is a gift in all the things that you have right now that's going to move you forward the big thing is is like focusing right because i feel the past is you know playing havoc a little bit but that's okay because you are a channel to receive and being receptive i feel for that yang energy that goes with that yin energy to create and form something tangible. Someone could literally manifest before your eyes as well, a helper, a guide, a lover, I don't know, someone you could connect with. What else? <clears throat> and I was talking about your superpowers earlier with that, and now you got the magician. Oh, we got the chariot, nice going into or heading in a direction, possibly that new direction, being fearless and achieve. See, you've got something about achieving some type of major goal. Some of you, there may be some, something about a car or a vehicle, you know, something about a vehicle here. Feeling good about what you're rolling in. <laughs> Only take that if it resonates, but we do have cancer showing up with the chariot. Stay determined here. You know, you are achieving some type of important goal and spirit is helping you. And there may be something with getting some type of public acclaim or being noticed for something that's positive for you. But either way, you are having victory here with a new uh, direction or overcoming an obstacle. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so Capricorn, let's find out um, a blessing that is coming from this situation. A blessing that's coming from the situation for Capricorn. Oh, look at... <laughs> okay. Codependency to me is the devil card, but uh, you know, you, what you have to look forward to is really letting go of anything that is impeding some type of progress here, especially if it makes you not feel so good or attractive. Just take that if it resonates, but most importantly, you know, we are utilizing our time wisely being in the present moment, attracting romantic love and enjoying what you've got going on making the effort that you're guided to take because you're seeing the way you're seeing those signs you're doing what it what you need to but it is about taking um steps to great love i want to get one more oh, we got the four of wands and we got the six of cups here <laughs> we're feeling right at home right at home this is so perfect because the four of wands is speaking about a time of celebrating or at least seeing you know 
something come together that you've been working hard at. And we could have some type of reunion, graduation, something that we could be celebrating, but we do have something about property or home. So take that if it resonates, but we have found safe grounds. That's what it is. This is that blessing that you're getting here. We're making things work. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light.